Hey yo, welcome back to another video. I hope everyone's having an amazing day so far. Oh my god, I was devastated and wanted to say that from so long, but we are finally back. I haven't uploaded a video in over a month and I have some explanation for that. The reason I was not able to upload is this channel actually had a lot of strikes from Rockstar Games because they did not want me to upload glitches, exploits, anything to do with GTA 5 Online. At this point, I do not have any strikes and we are a free man. Now today, you guys know GTA 5 might be receiving a new summer DLC very soon and as soon as the DLC is released a lot of you guys will need money so what I recommend you guys do is watch the video that your boy has for you today and start grinding right now so you guys can be ready when the new DLC drops by the way I just want to say thank you so much for the incredible support and positive comments on discord and I received a lot of positive comments on Instagram as well by the way if you don't follow me on Instagram it's at sky ps4 gamer small plug right there now if you guys do not know I do do YouTube full-time and that's why a lot of you guys did message me saying sky i know you need money my guy give me your paypal so i can donate to you now i did not take any donations but i really do appreciate you guys coming forward just to help your brother out now if you do want to help me out the simple thing you guys can do is the first video back if you're excited scroll down and tap the blue like button if we hit 1000 likes for this video tomorrow i have something very special coming out for you if you guys are here for the first time and you want to stay up to date with everything to do with gta 5 online including money also everything just in general like updates and stuff i highly recommend you guys scroll down and press the red subscribe button while you're there you need to go ahead and slap a blue like button as well if you guys are looking for cheap reliable and extremely fast cash on gta 5 online i highly recommend you guys go ahead and check out gta 5 boosting for like 35 dollars you can yourself 20 million dollars on gta 5 online if you don't check them out the link will be in the description at now we are working on a website and also I'm working on a new channel that will be built very soon just for you guys to find yourself money glitches on GTA 5 Online. Keep that low key for now but trust me it will be up very soon. Now today your boy Sky will be showing you guys an insane way that every single person watching this video will be able to make a lot of money on GTA 5 Online. I highly recommend you guys listen to the last 30 seconds of the video before you decide if you want to do this or not because there is a way to actually make this even quicker and just add some tricks onto it. Now I just want to mention a small disclaimer before you decide to do it, actually understand the full thing because I do not want you guys to come crying to me like Sky, this went wrong, this went wrong, just please understand the full thing before you decide to do it. The first thing you guys have to do is load into a public session. Now yes, this can be done from a private session but will be waste off a little bit of your time, public session will be a lot quicker. Once you guys load into a public session, you need to go ahead and bring up your pause menu, go to online, go to jobs, play job scroll down to adversary mode and go down to deadline when you actually go to deadline you guys will come to find out on the right side that every single adversary mode that is deadline is on triple money and triple rp just for this week that includes every single one of them now at this point what you need to do is you need to find yourself one of them that you personally like and start it up if you ask me the best one to do would be the first one because most of the people start up the first one seeing it's on triple money and triple rp it will be a lot easier for you guys to actually find other other people already playing the game mode now it is time for tip number one if you do not want to host the game and wait for other people to join in what I recommend you guys do is close out a GTA start it up again and you guys will notice on the right bottom you guys will have an option to press R1 or RT if you guys are on Xbox to actually load into a deadline even before loading into a session what this will make it is Rockstar will try their best to actually pair you up with people who are already in the game so you will not have to host and you will not have have to wait for people to join rather you will just join someone that's already playing it now this will not always work but it will be a lot higher chance of you actually joining someone when you actually close the application and load straight into deadline now if you are the host what i recommend you guys do is put first to win rounds to the max round duration to the max team lives to the max and then confirm the settings and at this point just click on auto invite and also make sure your matchmaking is open so everyone is able to join you the reason deadline is so good is because the max amount of players you can have inside of it is four and it's very easy to actually get three other people to join in compared to some other game modes where you require 30 people to max it out if you guys do not know the max amount of players playing may 
makes it so it's easier for you guys to make the max money when you're actually playing the game mode. It took me about 2 minutes and 30 seconds to get other 3 people to join in and then I started up the game mode. I just want to say I'm not going to tell you just to play the game mode and make the money that way. Just trust me, there is more things involved. Just keep watching the video. You guys will not be disappointed. Now once you actually load in, at this point you can actually do 2 things. The first thing you guys can do is if you're actually playing with random people and you do not feel like actually playing the game and you just want to make money, what I recommend you guys do is get a rubber band, get your controller and set it up exactly how you guys can see in the picture. So make sure your left toggle is going to the left top. If you're on PlayStation for Xbox, do exactly the same thing. Make sure your left toggle is going to the left top so your character keeps moving. And because it's just slightly tilted towards left, what's going to happen is your character will not die straight away and you guys will be able to cash out a little bit of money. Now keep in mind, I said the word little bit of money because this is not as efficient as the second way I will be explaining as this one is done completely solo and you will not have to worry about it. You can just set up your controller, put it down. If you just want to make a little bit of cash because you will keep dying, you're not going to come first. And the other way you can do the first method is simply play the game. If you play the game and you come first, that's good as well. Now, just want to mention for the people who do not know how deadline works, it's very simple. You need to actually try to destroy other people's bike by getting them into your trail. There is two ways you can die. If your bike stops, so you run into a building or second way you run into someone else's trail or even your own trail you have 10 lives and you need to try to stay alive as long as possible now this is the first way so play the game mode using the tips i showed you guys to get more people into it very quickly or secondly you can just set up your controller and just make sure that nothing happens while you are there now the second way is very 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 efficient and will make you a lot more money in a shorter period of time but will require you guys to set up a few things and let me explain how now the first thing you guys have to do is put every single deadline adversary mode into a playlist. Now for the people who do not know, Rockstar doesn't allow you to actually put adversary modes into a playlist. So when you actually go to create it, you guys see adversary mode is not there. But there is a small trick you guys can do to actually put adversary mode into a playlist. And the way you're going to do that is you need to make your way to jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created it, go to the adversary mode, find yourself deadline and bookmark every single one of them. So there are seven in total. Once you have bookmarked every single one of them, make your way to playlist, click on create make your way to bookmark and now you guys will notice that every single deadline game mode will be there just add them to the playlist save the playlist and now you guys will be able to start it up with the deadline mode inside of it you guys know adversary modes are not allowed to be in playlist but using this trick you guys will be able to put it in and once you have started up the playlist at this point you guys will need three other people who are willing to do this with you because that will make it so all of you guys can coordinate well and make yourself a lot of money now if you guys cannot find anyone willing to do it with you what I recommend you guys do is join my discord server the link will be in the description the server has like 14,000 members and all of them play GTA so you will be able to find someone or find a group of people willing to do this with you so all of you guys can rank up and make a lot of money at the same time once you guys have three people who are willing to coordinate with you at this point invite them to the playlist and start the first one up which is the deadline number one once you guys load in at this point you guys know that if someone wins two rounds the game will come to an end so at this point what you guys need to do is you need to make sure that the first person wins round one, the second person wins round two, the third person wins round three, and the fourth person wins round four. And then you guys can decide who wins the second one to actually get in the game. The reason you have to do this is so you guys are able to make the max profit in every single game by playing the max amount of rounds. And now if you guys do not know, when you actually win the round, just one round, you are given $30,000. And the reason for that is because obviously it is triple money and triple RP. Also, it depends on how long you guys actually spend inside of the game mode. If you spend less time, you will be given 25,000. If you spend more time, you can be given up to 60,000. And yes, you heard that right. Now, one thing you guys do need to know is if you guys do not want to play the game with the three people that you're doing this with, all of you guys can actually set up your controller how I showed you guys earlier in the video. And all of you guys can put it down and watch a Netflix show while the game is making you money. Like simply, none of you guys have to do anything. And because your bike is moving slow, it would take longer to actually complete the round as it will be harder for you guys to run into people and that will make it so you guys will get the max payout. How does this sound like? Okay, let's let's do some calculations to tell you guys how much money you can make. Let's say on average you will be making $40,000 and because there is actually 5 rounds and the reason I put the average as 40000 is because you will win one round then the second round you will not win, third one you will not win and stuff like that. I'm just going to average it out to about 40000 okay now this 
round lasted about 8 minutes and you guys can see the first person was given $30,000. Wait, before you guys say, Sky, bro, the average doesn't come to 40,000. You know what? Let's make the average 20,000, half of that, okay? Most of you guys will make over 40,000, but 20,000 is the average. Now, you will be playing five rounds every single game. There are seven games in total in the playlist, and when you actually complete the seven games, you would have played about 35 rounds. And making the average be 20,000 every single round, that comes to 20,000 times 35, and that comes to $700,000. Yes, you heard it right without playing gta 5 online keep in mind you're not actually even playing the game because once you have set up your controller with everyone you guys can all just put your controller down go to school go to sleep when you come back you would have made seven hundred thousand dollars now you guys like sky how long would it take well 35 rounds let's take on average it takes 10 minutes to complete the round it could be a little bit less if you times 10 with 35 that comes to 350 minutes divide that by 60 that comes to about six hours it's gonna take six hours i know that's a little annoying but keep in mind once you get seven hundred thousand dollars you will be able to buy little expensive things such as the ceo building and you guys can source cars and you will be able to make a hundred thousand dollars every 10 minutes but it's just when you're starting off it's a little bit harder to actually stack up on money and this is the best way to do it right now so make sure you jump onto gta set it up exactly how i showed you guys in this video but other than that thank you so much for watching this video till the end hope you guys did enjoy if you guys did make sure you guys are going to drop a like on it if you're new to the channel i highly recommend you guys subscribe and see notification for daily tutorials tips tricks anything to do with gta 5 online if you want to stay up to date make sure you tap that red subscribe button have a great day and i'll see you in the next one i'm out peace